imagine a world where nothing can shake you. Where every challenge, every setback, every obstacle becomes nothing more than a stepping stone on your path to greatness. That world, my friends, is not a fantasy. It's a reality that you can create starting right here, right now. You see, the art of acting as if nothing bothers you isn't about being cold or unfeeling. It's about cultivating an inner strength so powerful that external circumstances lose their grip on your peace of mind. It's about becoming the eye of the storm. Calm and centered while chaos swirls around you. Let me tell you something profound. Your reaction to life's events is far more important than the events themselves. Think about that for a moment. It's not what happens to you that defines you. It's how you respond. You know, I know what some of you might be thinking. But how can I not be bothered when life keeps throwing curveballs at me? Well, let me share a secret with you. The most successful people in this world, the ones who achieve greatness, who leave a lasting impact, they've mastered this very skill. You see, when you learn to act as, as if nothing bothers you, you're not denying reality. You're not pretending problems don't exist. No, you're doing something far more powerful. You're choosing to rise above those problems. You're deciding that your peace, your purpose, your potential is greater than any temporary discomfort or challenge. Think about a mighty oak tree. When a storm comes, does it uproot itself and run away? Of course not. It stands firm. It bends with the wind. And when the storm passes, it's still standing stronger than ever. So that, my friends, is what we're aiming for. for. Now, let me be clear. This isn't about suppressing your emotions or denying your feelings. It's about mastering them. It's about understanding that you are not your emotions. You are the one who experiences them, who can observe them, and ultimately who can choose how to act in spite of them. Imagine you're driving a car. Your emotions are like, like the radio playing in the background. Sometimes it's playing your favorite song and other times it's blaring noise that irritates you. But here's the key. Regardless what's playing on the radio, you keep driving. You keep your eyes on the road, your hands on the wheel, moving towards your destination. That's what acting as if nothing bothers you is all about. It's not about keeping your focus on your goals, your vision, your purpose, regardless of the noise life throws at you. You know how... I know some of you might be wondering, but isn't it important to acknowledge our problems and deal with them? Absolutely. Acting as if nothing bothers you doesn't mean ignoring problems. It means approaching them with a calm, centered mindset that allows you to find solutions more effectively. Think about it. When you're upset, anxious or frustrated, are you in the best state to solve problems? Of course not. But when you're calm, composed, and focused, that's when your creativity flows. That's when you see opportunities others miss. That's when you become unstoppable. Let me share a personal story with you. Back in my day, I remember a time when I was preparing for a major speaking engagement. It was going to be the biggest audience I had ever addressed. The night before, I received news that my flight had been canceled due to bad weather. Now, I had a choice to make. I could panic, get upset, let it bother me. Or I could act as if it didn't bother me at all. We chose the latter. <laughs> Instead of wasting energy on frustration, I immediately started looking for alternatives. I ended up driving through the night, arrived just in time, and delivered one of the best speeches of my career. Why? Because I didn't let the problem consume me. I remain focused on my purpose. You see, when you act as if nothing bothers you, you free up mental and emotional energy. Energy that you can then channel into finding solutions, into growing, into becoming the best version of yourself. Now, I want you to understand something crucial. Acting as if nothing bothers you is not about being passive. It's not about letting people walk all over you or accepting unfair situations. No. It's about choosing your battles wisely and then approaching challenges with a clear calm mind it's a bit like game of chess your opponent makes a move that threatens your position do you flip the board in frustration do you give up and walk away of course not you take a deep breath you analyze the situation and you make your next move strategically
That's what acting as if nothing bothers you looks like in real life. But how do we develop this skill? How do we train ourselves to remain unbothered in the face of life's challenges? Well, my friends, it starts with your mindset. Please to understand that everything in life is neutral until you assign meaning to it. Let that sink in for a moment. The events in your life don't come with built-in labels saying this is good or this is bad. You're, you are the one who decides what meaning to give them. Don't they? So the next time something happens that would normally bother you, pause for a moment. Ask yourself, how else could I interpret this situation? What if this isn't a problem but an opportunity in disguise? You see, when you change the questions you ask, you change the answers you get. And when you change your perspective, you change your life. I want to introduce you to a powerful concept. The gap and the gain. Most people live in the gap. They're constantly focusing on how far they still have to go, how much they lack, how they're not where they want to be yet. And living in the gap is a surefire way to feel bothered all the time. The successful people, people who have mastered the art of acting, as if nothing bothers them, they live in the gain. They focus on how far they've come, what they've learned, how they've grown. When you live in the gain, suddenly obstacles become opportunities for growth. Setbacks become setups for comebacks. Let me give you an example. Let's say you set a goal to read 50 books in a year. By the end of the year, you've read 40. Now, if you're living in the gap, you'll feel bothered and disappointed that you didn't reach your goal. If you're living in the gain, you'll celebrate the fact that you read 40 books. That's probably more than you've ever read before. You've gained knowledge, you've grown, you've made progress. You see, when you focus on the gain, it becomes much easier to act as if nothing bothers you. Because you're always winning, always growing, always moving forward. Now, I want to address something important. Some of you might be thinking, but what about injustice? What about real problems in the world? Shouldn't those things bother us? And you're absolutely right to ask that question. Acting as if nothing bothers you. It doesn't mean being indifferent to the world's problems. It means approaching those problems with a calm, centered, solution-oriented mindset. This means not letting the magnitude of the issues paralyze you with despair. But instead, motivating you to take positive action. Think about the great leaders and change makers throughout history. They faced enormous challenges, overwhelming odds. But they didn't let those challenges crush their spirit. They acted as if nothing could stop them from achieving their vision. And that's exactly why they succeeded. You have that same power within you. The power to face any challenge, any setback, any obstacle with unwavering determination and inner peace. Now let's talk about practical steps you can take to develop this skill. Because like any skill, acting as if nothing bothers you requires practice and consistency. First, start your day with intention. Before you even get out of bed, set your mind to the fact that you are in control of your reactions. Decide that no matter what happens today, you will respond with calmness and clarity. We second part of mindfulness. Take a few minutes each day to simply observe your thoughts and feelings without judgment. This will help you create a space between stimulus and response. Remember, it's in that space where your power lies. Good, reframe your language. Oh. Instead of saying this bothers me, try saying I notice that I'm having a reaction to this. It might seem like a small change, but it makes a big difference. It puts you back in the driver's seat. Girls, practice gratitude. At the end of each day, write down three things you're grateful for. This simple habit will train your mind to focus on the positive making it easier to remain unbothered by temporary setbacks. If, if visualize success. Spend a few minutes each day imagining yourself handling challenging situations with grace and ease. Your mind doesn't know the difference between what's vividly imagined and what's real. So the more you practice this in your mind, the easier it becomes in reality. Next things, take care of your physical health. Exercise regularly, eat nutritious food, get enough sleep. When your body feels good, it's much easier for your mind to remain calm and centered. Prevent 
surround yourself with positive influences. I, the people you spend time with have a huge impact on your mindset. Seek out individuals who inspire you, who challenge you to grow, who demonstrate the skill of remaining unbothered in the face of challenges. Hey, continually educate yourself. The more you know, the less you fear. Read books, attend seminars, listen to podcasts. The more tools you have in your mental toolbox, the better equipped you'll be to handle whatever life throws your way. Ninth, practice delayed reaction. When something happens that would normally bother you, make it a habit to wait before responding. Take a deep breath, count to 10, go for a short walk. This pause will give you time to choose your response rather than reacting impulsively. Your tenth, celebrate your progress. Every time you successfully handle a situation without letting it bother you, acknowledge it. Give yourself credit. This positive reinforcement will encourage you to keep growing and improving. Now, I, I want to address a common misconception. Some people think that acting as if nothing bothers you means you become passive or lose your passion. Nothing could be further from the truth. When you master this skill, you actually become more effective, more passionate, more impactful. Why? Because you're no longer wasting energy on needless worry and frustration. All of that energy can now be channeled into pursuing your goals and making a difference in the world. Think about a skilled surgeon performing a complex operation. Does he let his emotions run wild in the operating room? Of course not. He remains calm, focused, unbothered by the pressure. And it's precisely this state of mind that allows him to perform at his best. The same principle applies to every area of your life. Whether you're an entrepreneur building a business, a parent raising children, an artist creating your masterpiece, or a student pursuing your dreams, acting as if nothing bothers you will elevate your performance to new heights. Let me be clear. This doesn't mean you'll never feel bothered again. You're human and it's natural to have emotional reactions. The goal is not to eliminate these feelings, but to master them, to be able to feel bothered on the inside, yet choose to act unbothered on the outside. It's like being a duck on water. On the surface, the duck appears calm and serene, but underneath, its feet are paddling furiously. That's what we're aiming for. Inner awareness combined with our composure. Now, some of you might be thinking, this all sounds great, but my life is really tough right now. How can I possibly act unbothered? I hear you, and I want you to know something important. As if nothing bothers you doesn't mean denying the reality of your struggles. It means facing those struggles with a powerful, solution-oriented mindset. In fact, it's precisely when life is toughest that this skill becomes more, most valuable. It's easy to remain unbothered when everything is going well. The real test, the real growth comes when you're faced with challenges. So if you're going through a difficult time right now, I want you to see it's an opportunity. An opportunity to practice this skill, to grow stronger, to become more resilient. Remember, the storms of life don't come to break you. They come to make you. And let me share another personal story with you. There was a time in my life when I faced a series of setbacks that seemed overwhelming. I lost a major speaking contract, faced health challenges, and encountered opposition from people I thought were supporters. It's, it would have been easy to let these things bother me, to become bitter and discouraged. But I made a conscious decision to act as if none of it bothered me. Instead of dwelling on the problems, I asked myself, what can I learn from this? How can I use this experience to grow and become better? And you know what? That mindset shift changed everything. Those setbacks became the foundation for my greatest comeback. You see, when you add this, if nothing bothers you, you put yourself in a position of power. You become proactive rather than reactive. You start to see opportunities where others see only obstacles. Now, I want to address something important. Acting as if nothing bothers... You doesn't mean you become emotionless or robotic. It doesn't mean you stop caring. In fact, it's quite the opposite. When you master this skill, you're able to care more deeply, love more freely, and engage more. Why? Because you're no longer held back by fear of what might go wrong. You're no longer paralyzed by worry about what others might think. 
You're free to pursue your passions, to take risks, to put yourself out there without being derailed by every little setback or criticism. Think about it like this. When you're driving a car at night, you focus on the darkness around you. No, you focus on where your headlights are shining. That's what acting as if nothing bothers you allows you to do in life. It helps you focus on where you're going. Not on the obstacles along the way. I want to challenge you. For the next 24 hours, I want you to consciously practice acting as if nothing bothers you. When something happens that would normally upset you, pause. And ask yourself, how would I respond if this didn't bother me at all? You might be surprised at how this simple shift in perspective changes everything. You'll find yourself more patient, more creative, more resilient. You'll start to see solutions where before you only saw problems. And here's the beautiful thing. As you practice this, it becomes easier. It becomes a habit. Eventually, we see your success leaves clues. And if you study successful people across all fields, business, sports, arts, science, you notice a common thread. They all have this ability to remain calm and focused in the face of challenges. They all act as if nothing bothers them. Now, does this mean they never feel stressed or upset? Of course not. But they've learned to manage their emotions, to channel that energy into productive action rather than letting it derail them. And that's exactly what I'm inviting you to do. I'm inviting you to join the ranks of those who refuse to be bothered by life's ups and downs. Those who choose to rise above circumstances and create their own reality. Fear the cause, here's the truth. Your life is too important. Your dreams are too valuable. Your potential is too great to let temporary setbacks or other people's opinions hold you back. Imagine for a moment what your life would look like if you truly mastered this skill. How would it change your relationships, your career, your health, your overall happiness and fulfillment? Imagine waking up each morning with an unshakable sense of inner peace. Imagine facing challenges with a calm confidence, knowing that nothing can truly disturb your inner state unless you allow it to. Imagine being able to pursue your goals with single-minded focus, undistracted by the noise and drama that derails so many others. Imagine being able to love more deeply, create more freely, live more fully because you're no longer held back by fear of what might go wrong. That, my friends, is the power of learning to act as if nothing bothers you. It's not just a skill. It's a superpower. Now, I want to be clear about something. This doesn't mean you'll never face difficulties. It doesn't mean life will always be smooth sailing. But it does mean that you'll have the tools to navigate any storm that comes your way. Apparently, you'll be like a skilled sufferer riding the waves of life. Instead of being tossed about by every swell, you'll learn to use the energy of the wave to propel you forward. The very things that once bothered you will become the fuel for your growth and success. This is something powerful to remember. As you develop this skill, you become inspiration to others. You're calm in the face of chaos. You're peace in the midst of turmoil. It becomes a beacon of hope for those around you. Think about the people in your life. Your family... Your friends, your colleagues, how would it impact them if you were able to maintain your composure and positive attitude regardless of circumstances? You become a source of strength, a pillar of support, a leader that others naturally want to follow. Now, I want to address a question that might be in some of your minds. Is it really possible to reach a point where nothing bothers me? And the answer is yes and no. The truth is you'll always be human with human emotions and reactions. Now what's possible and what we're aiming for is to reach a point where you can choose your response to any situation rather than being at the mercy of your initial reactions. It's about developing a level of emotional maturity and self awareness that allows you to pause, assess and consciously decide how to respond to life's challenges. This doesn't mean you won't feel frustrated, disappointed, or upset at times. But it does mean you won't be controlled by these feelings. Think of it like this. Emotions are like the weather. They come and go sometimes predictably, sometimes not. But you are the sky, vast, 
expansive and ultimately unaffected by the passing clouds or storms. So the weather might change, but the sky remains. This perspective shift is incredibly empowering. It means that no matter what life throws at you, you always have a choice in how you respond. You're no longer a victim of circumstances, but the author of your own story. Now, developing this level of emotional mastery takes time and practice. It's not something that happens overnight. But every step you take in this direction is a step towards greater freedom, peace, and personal power. Let's talk about some practical strategies to help you on this journey. First, practice mindfulness. This doesn't mean you need to sit in meditation for hours every day. I know that can certainly help. Mindfulness is simply the practice of being fully present in the moment, aware of your thoughts and feelings without judgment. Is this something you feel bothered by? Toss. Take a deep breath. Notice the physical sensations in your body. Observe your thoughts without getting caught up in them. This simple act of stepping back and observing can create a powerful shift in your perspective. Second, reframe your experiences. Instead of labeling situations as good or bad, try to see them as neutral events that you can learn from. Ask yourself, what's the opportunity here? What can I learn from this? For example, if you lose a job, uh, instead of thinking this is terrible, you might reframe it as this is an opportunity to explore new career paths that might be even more fulfilling. This doesn't mean you ignore the challenges, but it does mean you focus on the potential for growth and positive change. But practice gratitude. It's hard to feel bothered when you're focused on what you're grateful for. Make it a daily habit to list three things you're thankful for. This simple practice can dramatically shift your overall outlook on life. Fourth, develop a growth mindset. See challenges as opportunities to learn and grow rather than as threats or failures. When you embrace a growth mindset, setbacks become stepping stones to success. Fifth, take care of your physical health. Regular exercise, good nutrition, and adequate sleep all contribute to emotional resilience. It's much easier to maintain a positive outlook when your body feels good. It's fixed. Surround yourself with positive influences. The people you spend time with have a huge impact on your mindset. Seek out relationships that uplift and inspire you. And then continually educate yourself. The more you learn, the more tools you have at your disposal to handle life's challenges. Read books, attend workshops, listen to podcasts, anything that expands your knowledge and skills. Practice compassion, both for yourself and others. When you approach life with compassion, it's easier to let go of judgments and resentments that might otherwise bother you. Ninth, set clear boundaries. Many times, what bothers us is a result of not having clear boundaries. Learn to say no to things that don't align with your values or goals. And ten, celebrate your progress. Every time you successfully handle a situation without letting it bother you, acknowledge it. This positive reinforcement will encourage further growth. Now let's dive deeper into why acting as if nothing bothers you is so powerful. When you master this skill, you become more resilient. Life is full of ups and downs, but when you're not easily bothered, you're able to bounce back more quickly from setbacks. You become like a rubber band. You might stretch under pressure, but you always return to your center. You also become more creative. When you're not bogged down by negative emotions, your mind is free to explore new ideas and solutions. Problems that might have seemed insurmountable before suddenly become interesting challenges to solve. Your relationships improve. When you're not easily bothered, you become a calming presence for others. You're able to respond to conflicts with clarity and compassion rather than reacting from a place of defensiveness or anger. Your health benefits too. Chronic stress, which often comes from being constantly bothered by things, can have serious negative impacts on your physical health. By learning to remain calm and centered, you're doing your body a huge favor. Your productivity skyrockets. Think about how much time and energy you waste when you're bothered by something. When you learn to let these things roll off your back, you can channel that energy into pursuits that really matter to you. You become a better leader. 
People naturally gravitate towards those who can remain calm under pressure. By mastering this skill, you become someone others look to for guidance and support. Your decision making improves. When you're not clouded by emotional reactions, you're able to see situations more clearly and make better choices. You enjoy life more. When you're not constantly bothered by things, you're free to fully engage with the present moment. You can appreciate the beauty around you, save your experiences, and find joy in the little things. Now, I want to address a common misconception. Some people think that learning to act as if nothing bothered you means becoming passive or apathetic. Nothing could be further from the truth. This skill isn't about ignoring problems or accepting injustice. It's about approaching challenges from a place of inner calm and clarity. It's about being proactive rather than reactive. In fact, when you master this skill, you become more effective at creating positive change in the world. Why? Because you're able to address issues from a place of wisdom and compassion rather than anger or fear. Think about the great change makers in history. People like Martin Luther, King Jr., Nelson Mandela, or Mahatma Gandhi. They faced enormous challenges and injustices, but they approached these issues with a remarkable sense of inner peace and purpose. And didn't let the magnitude of the problems overwhelm them. Instead, they channeled their energy into effective action. That's the power of learning to act as if nothing bothers you. It's not about becoming indifferent. Oh. Now let's talk about how this skill can transform different areas of your life. In your career, acting as if nothing bothers you. You can be a game changer. Imagine being able to handle high pressure situations with ease. Imagine being able to take constructive criticism without getting defensive. Imagine being able to navigate office politics without getting caught up in drama. This skill can set you apart and accelerate your professional growth. Actually, your personal relationships, this skill can deepen your connections with others. When you're not easily bothered, you're able to listen more deeply, empathize more fully, and love more unconditionally. You become a safe harbor for others. Someone they can count on to remain steady, no matter what storms may come. In your personal growth journey, this skill felt like a supercharger. When you're not held back by fears, doubts, or insecurities, you're free to pursue your dreams with single-minded focus. You're able to step out of your comfort zone more easily, take calculated risks, and push your boundaries. In your spiritual life, if that's important to you, this skill aligns beautifully with many spiritual teachings. It's about cultivating inner peace, practicing non-attachment, and trusting in a higher purpose. Even in your physical health, this skill can have profound effects. Stress is a major contributor to many health issues. By learning to remain unbothered, you're reducing your stress levels and supporting your overall well-being. You know, I want to be clear about something. Learning to act as if nothing bothers you doesn't mean you'll never face challenges or feel negative emotions. Life will still have its ups and downs. You still feel the full range of human emotions. The difference is that you won't be controlled by these external events or internal states. You'll have the power to choose your response. You'll have the ability to maintain your inner peace and clarity, regardless of what's happening around you. Think of it like this. You're director of your own movie, but before you might have felt like you were at the mercy of the script, reacting to whatever scene came next. But now you're able to step back and see the bigger picture. You can choose how to frame each scene, how to respond to each plot twist. A shift in perspective is incredibly liberating. It puts you back in the driver's seat of your life. It allows you to write your own story rather than feeling like life is happening to you. As you continue on this journey, remember that it's a process. There will be times when you still get bothered by things and that's okay. The goal isn't perfection. The goal is progress. Each time you're able to respond to a challenging situation with calm and clarity, celebrate it. Each time you catch yourself getting bothered and are able to shift your perspective, acknowledge the growth. These small wins compound over time, leading to profound changes in your life.
Now remember, this journey isn't just about you. As you develop this skill, you become a positive force in the world. Your calm presence can be a source of strength for others. Your ability to remain unbothered in the face of challenges can inspire those around you. Imagine the ripple effect you can create. As you learn to act as if nothing bothers you, you create a sphere of calm around you. This affects your family, your friends, your colleagues. They, in turn, may be inspired to develop this skill themselves. And so the positive impact spreads. In a world that often seems chaotic and uncertain, your ability to remain centered and unbothered is a precious gift, both to yourself and to others. It's a pathway to greater peace, both inner and outer. So I encourage you to embrace this journey. Practice acting as if nothing bothers you, not as a form of denial or avoidance, but as a powerful tool for personal growth and positive impact. Remember, it's not about becoming emotionless or detached. It's about becoming so grounded in your inner peace that you can fully engage with life without being tossed about by every wind of circumstance. You have within you the power to choose your response to any situation. You have the ability to maintain your inner calm regardless of external chaos. As you develop this skill, you'll find yourself becoming more resilient, more creative, more compassionate, and more effective in every area of your life. So go for the confidence. Embrace the challenges that come your way, knowing that there are opportunities for growth. And always remember, you are the sky. Hey there, welcome to my channel Music Library BT. Today I speak Learn to act as if nothing bothers you. A stepping stone, greatness that word, reality that you can create starting right here. Right now you see the art of acting as being cold or feeling it's about cultivating an inner external circumstance laws about becoming eye of the storm centered while child something profound you reflection important than the events things lives think moment it's not what happens to you that defines you it's how you respond no i know what some of you might be thinking but how can I not throwing car balls at me? Well, let me share a secret. Successful people in the greatness who leave a lasting impact, they have mastered his very skill. You see, brothers, you deigning reality, you are not pretending. Something far more powerful, you are choosing to rise above those problems, you are deciding that your pitch potential.